Hi friends, today we're gonna work on um, multiplying a fraction by a whole number. And I have three different ways that I can show you how to do this and you can pick whatever way works best for you. So right now I'm going to work on teaching you these three skills and I have another piece of paper we can do them together. So right now at the top of my paper, I have one half times eight. So I have my fraction times my whole number. So the first thing I can do is I can demonstrate one half eight times on my number line. So this number line goes from zero to five and each hole is broken, in, broken into halves because my denominator it has a two on the bottom representing a half, okay? So let's, see. let's use the same color. First thing I'm gonna need to do is I'm going to do one half jumps eight times. So this first jump is one half, and that's my first jump. Another one half is my second jump. Another half is my third jump. One half, fourth jump, one half, fifth jump, one half, sixth jump, one half, seventh jump, one half, eighth jump. And I need to find out where I landed. So right here, I landed on the number four. So for this one, one half times eight is four. All right, let's see what happens when I try repeated addition. One half times eight. What I do for this one is I circle my whole number and I go ahead and draw out that many lines. So I'm gonna draw eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going back and putting a plus sign in between each line because we're doing repeated addition. And I have to go ahead and put my one half on each of these fraction lines. Okay, so I have one half. I have it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Now I know my denominator is two and we never add denominators, right? So the denominator stays two. Now we add numerators. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now I have eight halves, which is an improper fraction. I label it in and out. My eight goes in my division house. My two goes outside. Two can go into eight four times. Four times two is eight. And right here is my answer. So I also found that one half times eight is four. Okay. The next one we're gonna do are one half times eight is with models or pictures. And I've written some steps down here for you. So I'm gonna go over them real quick. First, you're gonna draw a picture to represent um, the whole. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do first. The second thing we're gonna do is the denominator is how many groups you're gonna need. And the numerator is how many of your groups are needed. And the last thing is you're going to count circled holes. So the first thing is draw a picture of to represent your whole. I have eight holes. I'm doing something easy like circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I've represented my whole of eight. My denominator is how many groups I need. So I need two groups. So let's see, I wanna make the groups fair. So here's group one, here's group two. Okay, the next part is the numerator is how many of your groups are needed. My numerator is one, so I'm gonna need one of these groups. I like to put a little check mark there, kind of flag it. Step four is count the circled holes. One, two, three, four. So here again, we've also proven that one half times eight is four. Okay, let's try one together. If you want to pause this video and draw these things with me, that would be fine. I think that would help you learn best. This time we're gonna focus on two thirds times six. 
my number line here is zero to five, zero to six, and I've broken this number line up into thirds. So right here from zero to one, I have one, two, three parts, okay? Because the thirds is tell me how many parts. So I need to do two third jumps six times. So right here, this would be one third, but this jump represents two thirds. So that's one jump. Another two thirds, two jumps. Another two thirds is three jumps. Another two thirds is four jumps. Another two thirds is five jumps. And my last two thirds would be six jumps. And I need to figure out where I landed. So this one just so happens to also equal four. So two thirds times six is four. I don't want you to think that that's always the answer. That just happens to be what worked out for this. All right. Repeated addition, two thirds times six. Again, I circle my whole number and draw that many lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go back and add your plus signs in between and equals. Now two thirds is gonna go on each fraction bar. I have like denominators. Three is going to stay my denominator. My numerator will add up. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I have an improper fraction. Twelve thirds. I'm going to put my twelve on the inside of my division house, my three on the outside. Twelve can be divided up three into groups of three four times. And again, there's my answer. Four holes. The last one, I'm going to rewrite it again, two-thirds times six. Step one is to draw a picture to represent your whole number. Again, I'm making it super easy. I'm doing circles again. One, two, three, four, five, six. My denominator tells me how many equal groups I need. So I'm going to need to make three groups. This can be group one, this can be group two, and this could be group three. I have three groups. Now my numerator is gonna tell me how many of these groups I'm gonna need. Again, I like to check it off. It's telling me I need two of the groups that I've circled. One group, two groups, and my last step is to count how many holes are in those groups I circled, or I checked. One, two, three, four. So here, my answer again is four. You can pick whatever strategy works